Hello everyone, this is TailsFail109, and welcome back to East 2. Now last time, we, um, ended up in the floating land of East, and we talked to a lot of people to get information about such, and then we just started picking up a few things, like money, so that we can actually get some armor and complete our equipment, and actually find the weapon and armor store. Here it is. Hi, mister. I've got your money. And armor and because of lack of materials probably due to monsters this is all he has but it's all we need right now there we go now let me equip it let's see how much does it do four that's not too bad but unfortunately now I think we actually have to do a little more level grinding this game will put a little more focus on that than the first one since we are actually leveling up throughout the entire game as I have said so before how many experience points will these enemies give us probably want to be at at least level 6 before moving on sorry if that is boring but really don't want to be really overpowered by monsters oh they're not giving us a lot anymore Alright, I'm going to try something that is probably ridiculous and stupid and is probably just going to get me hurt. No, it's not that. Remember those stone guys from earlier? I'm going to see if I can hit them. I think you need to be at at least level 7 before you even attempt fighting these guys. Let's see. Yep, can't hurt them. Can't hurt them. You know what? I'll see how things go in here. Hey there, I am Mestal from Lance Village. You are it, all right? It's good to see you're feeling better. What's that you say? Dr. Flair's been involved in a cave-in! Oh, how awful! So you've come to rescue him then, I suppose. But I can't open this door without the others express- Oh, you have permission? Well then, in you go. Thank you, Estal. There are a lot of demons roaming in the abandoned Rustine mine these days. The villagers don't go down there at all anymore, save for when they need medical herbs. And even then, it's usually just Dr. Flair himself, so do be careful down there, okay? Okay, again, I, I want to save, I want to see how much damage I can deal to these guys. Enough. There is a door. We we can't open it yet. It's sealed with a powerful force, unfortunately. More monsters. I can barely hurt this guy, but I'm getting so much experience points, I don't really care. Oh, give me a level up. Yes! Huh. This will work out. Now, this giant door, we actually can go in this one, and you have to go in here. Here is a statue of one of the six priests. I am Priest Hadar. It is good that you have come, warrior. Disaster once again falls upon the land of East. As the demons appeared in the world below, so too did they here in East. He who controls them resides within the Solomon Shrine. When you have brought each of the books of East to its rightful owner, the way there shall be open to you. And you will also get max health and... MP, talk to these statues, well, once we have magic, at the very least. As of now, we just have to deal with our regular physical strength, and there's no way I'll be able to fight the guys down below here, so I'm just going to fight these guys for a little bit. They give me a lot of experience points for the time being. But considering this is still nightmare mode, I want to be really careful. I don't know how much damage these guys are going to deal to me. And stay away whenever they're going to do a swab attack like that. New to this game, at least in the remake, enemies have a couple of extra range attacks to damage you, so you can't always be running into them. Alright. They don't hurt that much, I guess. That's good. But still, um... What level am I at? Level 6. Alright, that's not too bad, actually. I should probably go for one more level, though. I think that'd be wise. 
Ugh, there we go. This might be boring to look at, but it is uh, um, very necessary because when you're not at the right level, you can't hurt enemies, which makes it a huge problem to run into anything under level. Always be sure you're at a good level before you move on. Like, apparently for these guys, level 4 was enough to start satisfying, but as you can see, now that I'm getting stronger, the enemies give less experience points. This is just so that you don't consistently grind in the same area over and over again and overpower yourself. Though you're more than welcome to do that, it would take hours upon hours and that would be really boring and it would make the, a good deal of the game pretty boring as well. Just running through everything as if it were nothing, which it practically is by that point. Either way, I'm almost at the next level. I'm probably gonna step out for a second after this. Or I might enter the resting mine for a quick moment. Alright, there we go. Level 7. Let's see how I do. This is the first real dungeon area of the game. The resting mine. And it is a maze. I usually have a little trouble trying to remember exactly where to go. But... Okay, so we're strong enough to fight these guys, thankfully. But they are also quite strong. Always search for these little stairways, because they usually lead to another part of the Sanctuary of Tall, where we can focus on finding more of the statues of the priests of Ancient East. And of course, we can kill some more enemies for experience points, because that's good. Alright, hi there. I am the Priest Tova. It is good that you have come, warrior. Just as Hadar bears the magic of fire, I, Priest of Wisdom, bear the magic of altar. Each of us can grant you a new power to aid you on your journey. You will need all six to strike at the heart of evil. Thanks for telling me that. Yet, yeah, this game... If I demonstrate it in the equipment menu, you do get magic spells. There's one spell to represent each of the six priests, but you do not get them by talking to the statues. You actually do have to find them. Boo-hoo! The first spell we get, though, is an incredibly useful one. You're gonna want it immediately. Oh, really? I'm not... At the next level? Okay, now I am. And these guys are starting to get pretty easy now. Let's go in a little... Uh, I think I wanna go this way. There are many stairways. You just gotta keep finding the... Yeah, this is what I was looking for. It's a mattock, it looks usable. Here we get a mattock. We'll be using this a few times throughout. Specifically in this first area of the game, as I remember correctly. Well, let's just check in here. This should eventually lead to a dead end, right? Yeah. A very useless dead end, but a dead end nonetheless. Hi. And we went this way already? Yes, we did. That's what the mattock was. Alright, there. I don't want to travel too far off right now, so... There's a couple of things I want to do at the... As of now... First of all, let's kill these guys, and... I actually want to head out of the mines for a little bit. There are some items I can get about now, and... I think it's important that I get them right away. These guys give almost nothing anymore. This should be a clear indication that you gotta move on. When enemies give you almost nothing anymore, the enemies up above probably only give one experience point now. On the bright side, I think we are able to attack these stone statue guys. Once again, save before you attempt anything. We are level 9, we should be fine. There we go. And in here, if we can open it, is a Rod of Divinity. Now what does a Rod of Divinity do? Well, let's demonstrate. Let's go up here. The moment Adol touched the rod of the goddess statue, he felt a surge of energy crush through his body. And yeah, now we can use magic to aid us, but we still need to find a spell. Why are you here? Oh well, you give me some experience points. They're not too strong by this point anymore. There is one more thing I want to get. Uh, I skipped it. Here's a cracked wall. Let me equip a mattock and use it. 
this is only in the remakes. It's to open this chest, which contains a bestiary potion. If you remember in the first game, it allows us to see various statuses, and I love using it. Uh, which button gets it out again? Uh, how do I use it? Um, what? What is the no? Tap. Ah, oh, there we go. I love seeing this. And for curiosity's sake, I would like to see how much money the next sword upgrade is, because I don't remember. I don't think it's two thousand. This one might be only one thousand. I want to check because I want to get this as soon as I possibly can. How much money is your sword, Mister? Uh, sword. A uh, long sword. Wait, wait. I, I didn't read. Okay, it's a thousand. I thought so. We want to get that as soon as possible. How much is the small shield? Fifth. Yeah, the sword comes first, definitely. But right now, we're actually faring off pretty darn well, all things considered. This is nightmare mode after all. Surprising things have been as smooth as they are. Now the amount of MP you can carry is always the same as the amount of HP you can carry. So you never have to wonder how much MP you can ultimately hold. That and there is a blue magic meter, so all is well. Let's go back into the mines. There's nothing else to do up here. So now we gotta go and search for more statues of the priests of Ace. Eh, yeah, these guys are really weak now. Ugh, I ran into a wall. Congratulations, me. <laughs> oh, well, kill him. Kill him. Do they still give a fair amount of experience? We want to go this way now. And then I think it's this way, and... Save. Aha! Pass this block by Rubble from Cave There's a small hole, however, just big enough for a bird. Has someone come to rescue me? You're not a demon, I hope. Hey, don't introduce himself. I'm Flera, a doctor from Lance. Thank you for coming to my aid. I trust you received my letter? If you have a mat talk, you could use it to go path through the fallen stones. I don't suppose you have one, though. On the contrary... Uh, contrary. There we go. And that gave us some experience points, so we got another level up. Hey! Hi there! Thanks for your help, young man. But I ask your business here. You seem to be a traveler. I arrived on East and blah 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 Lilia blah 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 Lance. Ah, oh, so Lilia came to your aid, did she? That's no surprise. She's got a good heart, that one. Oh, is that letter for me? Oh, dear. This is awful. Seems Lily has fallen ill. I'm going to need a road of fruit and a sacerdote of flower in order to cure her, and I'll need them fast. I haven't seen a road of fruit in a long time, but they used to be commonplace out in the ruins in Midoriya. And the sacerdote of flower only grows in dark areas, close to bodies of water. You might find some deeper in the mine, but this is as deep as I'd ever dare go myself. I'm no warrior. Please, Adol, would you look for a road of fruit and a sacerdote of flower for Lilia's sake? Lily is a truly sweet girl, though I'm sure you knew that already. I'll do everything in my power to save her, but I need you to do the same. Alright, goodbye. So we've got the rotor fruit, and that's the main reason we- Oh gosh. Well, looks like we're going to go through all that dialogue again. I'm sorry, people. I'll skip through it. This is as fast as I can go, unfortunately. 
Hi, hi, oh, help, please. I am a doctor. If you had a mad talk, you could get in. I will swing a mad talk. <laughs> uh, thank you. Let's move on. Let's talk to you. Hi there. So Lily saved me, and here's a letter. Yes, I know she's ill. It's a terrible thing. I'll find this a soda flower because I'm the only one that's actually prepared for anything in this. I'm saving. Saved. All right, good. I'm, I'm fine. Let's go a little deeper into the mines, and oh, sweet, here we go. Uh, we'll go that way in a moment. I want to go this way first. For treasure, a Claria ring. And no, this is not related to the ring types in the previous game. It's an accessory. So wearing this. We can occasionally avoid a hit from an enemy, but I don't think it works on boss battles. Because that would be too convenient. But it only works once in a while, not all the time. Otherwise, it would be abusive. Alright, let's talk to this priest. I am the priest Darby. It is good that you have come, warrior. When trouble arose in the land, East was lifted into the sky with powerful magic. With it came the source of all demon kind, unbeknownst to those thereupon. Demons are a byproduct of magic itself. They are the flip side of the coin. With magic, there shall always be demons, inexorably. To end this correlation, we need the goddesses. And so it falls upon you, warrior, to find them. Yep, I have a huge responsibility. It's scary, but that's what I have. Um, kill for experience wow they don't give me a lot anymore do you give me a lot anymore and uh, no all right more confusing this um, I think this takes me to the fire magic I'm not sure mm, yes it does oh jeez. Once again, I'm gonna save. This is a very tight corner. Right here! Well, the Clara Ring did work a couple times there, but I still died. Oh, gosh. Alright, there we go. We got fire magic. This allows us to shoot fire, and as such, you're probably gonna want to use this often. Unfortunately, in the remakes, once the blue bar goes down, you have to wait for it to recharge. That's not the case in other versions, just this one. And sometimes that randomly happens. I, I don't know why. Alright, we can charge up the fire magic too, to dish out a huge deal of damage at once. So that is incredibly useful. I definitely want to go for another level up. Uh, we're not quite there yet, and this is really just a dead end. I always forget about that. I always forget. There we go, we leveled up. I think I go this way. Yeah, and this looks about right. It's not right. I would like to pick up at least one more level if I could. Uh, this way. Um. Hey, look, it's an herb. Hooray. Let's go this way. Um, this way? Nope. Uh, this way. Nope, it's just another dead end. Look at that. There's a lot of dead ends in this mine, but then again, it's a mine. What am I supposed to expect? Alright, here we go. Um... You know what? I should probably stop here. We'll try and get through the rest of the mines in the next video. Until then, this has been TalesFail109, and have a nice day.